When you open this, do you see? Oh, you see that steam? How fluffy <laughs> and delicious this is. What's up you guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and a fantastic weekend. I'm actually kicking off my weekend by going to the gym and then I actually have to do a little bit of work stuff. But then later tonight, you guys, we are actually making rolls with Britt. She's gonna share with you guys her famous roll recipe, which I cannot wait because it is honestly delicious and so many of you guys asked for the recipe, so we cannot wait to share it with you guys. I just got back from the gym. I'm using our little projector as a nice little stand for my water. But I honestly have just been hanging out for the last little bit before I have to do some more work stuff. But I've been playing this Scrabble game, so it's actually a different one from the one I told you guys last time. But on that last video, so many of you guys commented that I should go check out Word Farm Adventure because it's a new kind of a word puzzle game. In fact, it's five star rated, meaning the game is rated five stars in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. But I've been playing this one, you guys, and I'm honestly like in love with it. It is so much fun. For those of you out there that don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically like this word puzzle game where you solve word puzzles, find challenges, and complete missions to renovate your farm and rescue the animals in it. Plus, there's a built-in dictionary for the last word that you enter every single game, which I think is really Really cool so I've actually learned quite a few new words just from playing this game but what I love about this one compared to the other ones out there is that it comes with so many different locations you can design it with your own style they got daily rewards boosters so like stuff that helps you like solve clues anyways I know a lot of you guys have heard about this game before thank you again for the recommendation I'm absolutely love playing word farm adventure and for those of you who haven't I will definitely put a download link in the description for you guys to check out because I highly recommend that you guys get it especially if you're into word scrabble games but I'm gonna have to call it because if I stay on this game any longer, I'm not gonna get any work done. vlog today, which I'm sorry about you've been hanging out with this guy today. Oh, it's been so nice. <laughs> so nice. I always use the same joke, but I don't care because I think Are you guys just sick of this handsome <laughs> mug? I mean, who could be sick of this face? Oh, he is. Anyways. <laughs> I am so excited because today I am making my roll recipe. I cannot... Delicious. Yes, they are delicious. Delicious recipe. They're so easy, so quick and I feel like they're fail proof, which is awesome because I don't know about any of you guys, but I always had this like concept in my head that making bread is so hard and tricky. Look at these two back here. Oh my gosh, this guy is so cute and so stinky. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but it's not. At least with this recipe, it's like fail proof. I know I've shown a little bit of rolls, but I haven't actually just gone like step by step with all of you guys. And, and a lot of you guys are asking, so we thought this would so be So many of you guys have asked, like, yeah. where can I find your roll recipe? Because we don't have any videos titled how to make rolls, so you guys don't really know what videos that we posted in. So this will be titled, How to Make Rolls. So whenever you need the recipe, you can just search it and find it on our channel. So enough chit chatting, let's go ahead. I need, it's late, we are making these late. It is 8.30, so we yeah. will have a midnight <laughs> snack. Not midnight, it takes about two hours, so. It's gonna be close. Yeah, it's gonna be close. <laughs> but that's fun, we're gonna watch a show and have rolls. And the rolls are so good, I'm gonna eat all of them. <laughs> I've eaten no, nothing today. We've been preparing for this, you guys. Saving for that. We are excited. So, Jerry, I'm gonna hand the camera off to Jerry, he's gonna be my yes. cameraman. Yep. And, and there's actually a mosquito flying around in here I somewhere. Know, guys, I, I left the door open. I'm the worst of it. Jared gets so mad at me. I know. Yep. It She's the worst. The door. <laughs> I did not say it like that. He didn't. He didn't. Say that. <laughs> but, but this is the start of what summer would feel like. I know. So here we go. Okay. Let's let's talk about rolls though, really quick. So you guys, with this recipe, as I mentioned, I've made this many times on the vlog before. This is the same dough that I use for my cinnamon rolls. 
It's the same dough I use for bread and you can just use it for dinner rolls. So it's so versatile. You can use it for tons of things and it's so easy. And it's so good. And it's good. So first things first is the yeast. So what I'm gonna do is I found just a jar of this instant rapid yeast at, this is from Publix, but I love the jars instead of the little packets, you know, like the little one time yeast packets. So anyways, I've never seen this before. I love this because I can literally just take my tablespoon right in here and get the yeast out like that. And I don't have to deal with all those little packets and it lasts much longer too. First step is in a separate bowl. I always do this, this is how my mom taught me. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of yeast. Now you can totally double this recipe. If you double it, it'll make about two dozen rolls. That's obviously way too many rolls for Jerry and I. So this recipe is set to make about either two loaves of bread or about 12, 12 to 14 large dinner rolls as well. Okay, and then, so two are two tablespoons of rapid yeast. Now make sure it's rapid as well if you don't wanna wait forever. I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of sugar. And now supposedly that helps activate the yeast and make it, I don't know, bubble up and sugar. <laughs> I'm not technical, I'm not a technical And sugar baker, is never a bad ingredient. But it works. <laughs> so that's what we do there. And then we take a half a cup of warm water to the bowl right here. So, and make sure it's warm, because that is really important to activate it. It needs to be pretty warm. Not like burning hot, but I do mine pretty, pretty warm. About right there and then half a cup of water. Do you want to show here? Yes. So you do the half a cup right in there. And then I usually just give mine a little stir. And then you guys, you're gonna see, this is gonna take, I don't know, about five, 10 minutes. And I let it double in size. So see how it's down here? It is gonna literally bubble up and be like up here when it's ready to add to my dry ingredients. So while the yeast is rising, doing its thing over there, I'm gonna go ahead and get my dry ingredients in this bowl. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do and then we'll put it in so I'm not talking the entire time. But we're gonna do five cups of flour, all-purpose flour. We don't need anything fancy, just all-purpose flour. And then a half a cup of sugar. Now you do not have to use all that sugar. You can definitely take it down. We like our rolls a little sweet around here, so that's why we put that in. A half a tablespoon of salt, and then one and a half cups of warm water, and a fourth a cup of vegetable oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all those ingredients in here, and then we'll go from there. sugar, salt, vegetable oil, and I need my water, but I'm gonna add my water in after I add my yeast. So check this out. Do you see how this has bubbled up? This nice thing is and huge. Big. And that was literally not even five minutes. I could probably let it go a little longer, but I'm kind of impatient, so I'm gonna just pour <laughs> it in. But look so at this. So frothy, yeah. So I'm gonna dump this right into my mixture. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. So that is gonna do its magic and make our rolls nice and fluffy. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix this a little bit and then I'm gonna add in my water. Now, one and a half cups water is what I'm gonna start with, but then you kind of have to just gauge it. Sometimes you need to add a little more water, sometimes a little more flour. When you start kneading it, you kind of just have to fill it out. So I'm gonna add my water and then I'll kind of show you what the texture looks like at that point. All right, guys, so I have everything in here. I am stirring it now, just getting it all kind of incorporated. You can see it's kind of just like what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this just sit here for just about five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and then I'm gonna start kneading the dough. Now it's time to whip out the old muscles. <laughs> so what I like to do is I put a little bit of flour in a bowl next to me just in case it's too sticky. I can just add more flour on my hands as I go. So I'm gonna just cover my hands in a little bit of flour to start out with because I know it's gonna be pretty sticky off the bat. And then all you do is you just kind of start gathering it together like so, and I can tell, uh, I might need to add a little more flour. It's kind of tricky because it, at first it's a little just stringy and it's 
until you actually start to knead it with your hands, then you can kind of start to tell the texture and if you're gonna need to add more water or more flour. So initially, I'm gonna go ahead and get the kneading started. And all you do to knead, you guys, I just use the back, the palm of my hand, and I turn the bowl with one hand, and then I kind of just flip it and press it. And what you're just doing is just trying to combine all the ingredients, get them all mixed together, and get that gluten going. I believe that's what's going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think that's what it is. Is You said that, I was like, wow, that's really good, smart and I, cool. <laughs> I think, I don't know, you guys. I'm not a professional baker, so this is what works for me. But literally, I'm just gonna go ahead, keep doing this motion. I can tell this is feeling a little bit dry. It's not really sticking to my hands at all. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this one. And then I'm gonna just keep it kneading it along for probably about five minutes. And then I'll show you what it looks like at that point. I got my workout in for the day. <laughs> One little tip, because you do need to put quite a bit of like body pressure to it, I sat on my tippy toes back here. And what I do is I use that to like come down on top of the dough. So I'm using like all my body weight to press it. I don't know why, I just feel like that helps though. And so I think the dough's about there. See how it's not sticking to my hands at all? I can do that, it comes off clean. This is kind of what the texture looks like right here. So this is before it's had a chance to raise. But I've been eating this for about five, maybe seven minutes, and it's feeling really good. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this over. <laughs> just like that. And one test you can do to see if you've kneaded enough, what I hear is if you put your finger here and it springs back, then it should be ready to rise. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put on just a kitchen towel over the top of my bowl. I'm gonna leave it right in this bowl. I'm gonna put it in a warm spot. I have my oven on and I'm gonna actually turn it off and then I'm gonna just put my bowl right on here to let it rise for about an hour. It is gonna double in size about, and then I'll show you the next step after that. All right, guys, an abracadabra, just like that. <laughs> oh! That has risen. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That. My goodness. That definitely has risen, looks awesome. That's like doubled, tripled in size. That yeast did its thing, which I'm so excited mm -hmm. about, because it's humid here today, so I was a little worried to see how it affects my rolls, but we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> but fingers crossed, I've never had an issue with this recipe. So, okay, now next step is I have to punch the dough back down, and then I'm gonna just knead it for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna roll my dough into balls and then put them on. I'm just using a nonstick baking sheet right here. You can put them in like a glass baking dish. Anything that you wanna cook them in, feel free to. This is just what I used, put them all on. So I'm gonna go ahead, punch this down, and then I'll show you how I roll them out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Yes, that looks nice. So I just punched it down. Now at this point, nothing is sticking to my hands, which is a good sign. Sometimes I do need to put on a little bit of flour, but look at this dough. I want you to see the texture of it. Do you see how you can just pull that? That is gonna be awesome for the rolls. It's all smoothed out now. Like this texture, is what you want. That pool, like that is awesome, awesome. And I know a lot of people have told me they're worried about it getting stuck in here. Honestly, mine has never gotten stuck in here, but if it does, you can just put down a little bit of flour and you're good to go. So this consistency is great. I'm so excited. This looks great. My goodness, that is some good dough right there. You know what you can do at this point? Just pat yourself on the back. Yeah. Because you are making homemade rolls that are gonna make your house smell delicious and everyone eat them, love you. <laughs> so once you get to this point, I kneaded this. It's back down into a little bowl right here. Feels great, nothing sticking in my hands. 
I buttered my baking sheet right here just with some butter. And now all you do is you just start grabbing some dough. Now you can make these as big or as small as you want. I make ours a pretty decent dinner roll. Like, what would you call that, Jared? Like a palm size full? Yeah. About? Like a size of a, smaller than a baseball. Yeah, a little smaller than a baseball. Maybe, yeah, it's well, a little. Maybe a baseball size. No, that's not a baseball size. <laughs> this is probably, <laughs> this is probably a little smaller than a tennis ball. I would say. Yeah. So anyways, you can make them as big, small as you want. These will be pretty big rolls, so I know a lot of people like smaller ones. Totally up to you. But how I like to do it is I take it and I kind of flatten it with my hands like this into almost a disc, as you can tell, because that just makes it smooth. And then I flip it, and then I start just to kind of pull the edges in, and I pinch the middle right here. If you can see how I'm just kind of pinching it, and then I kind of twist it. And then what you have is a nice little ball like that, that's smooth. And then I go ahead and I just set it down right on the sheet and there you go. Easiest pie, it doesn't matter if they're perfect, like no one cares. <laughs> they're gonna taste amazing. They but, are gonna taste amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these all rolled out and then I'll tell you what we do next. almost all my dough, but these are large rolls. You can obviously make much smaller ones. This is even before they rise. So you can imagine once they rise, these are gonna be big rolls. So if you wanted, you could totally make these half the size and have smaller dinner rolls and then you'd have 24, or this makes 12 good size big yeah. rolls. Now we like big rolls here in the vegan house. So Next step is now I'm gonna go ahead just cover with these again. I'm gonna let them rise for about another 45 minutes to an hour, just watch them. Mine tend to rise pretty fast here. I don't know if it's the humidity or what, but they do rise kind of quick here. So I'm just gonna keep my eye on them. They'll rise and then I'm gonna pop them into my oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. Now I'm just keep an eye on them. Every oven's different. I would check them about 15 minutes. 15 to 20, sometimes a couple minutes extra depending on the size. Just keep an eye on them. You can also brush these with butter if you'd like. But yeah, guys, super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead, let these rise, and we'll show you when they're all done. gosh they look amazing they look so good I am so excited we've been letting them cool off for just a little bit but they're still pretty warm so I ended up moving my pan to the top of them so they could brown the tops a little bit but the inner ones got done a little bit more it must be hotter in the back of the oven but they look great I'm so excited to dive into these these are big rolls <laughs> they actually took about 25 minutes to cook so like I said keep your eye on them just depending on your oven and the size of the roll will depend on how long they cook. But I am ready to, which one do you want, Jer? Uh, ooh, that one's calling my name. This one's calling your name. Yeah. This one looks like a good one. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, you guys. Check out the size of this roll. <laughs> that is huge in comparison it's to your hands. It's Massive. golden brown on the top, nice and golden brown on the bottom. And let's just open this up. Oh, oh baby, my baby. gosh, that is just, Steamy. <laughs> I'm gonna get these transferred. Look at that. Oh, they look so good. So good. I cannot wait. We are, we are gonna eat these with just some butter, some jam, some honey. I wish we had, we had some of that. Remember that honeycomb honey? Oh my gosh, that was seriously flavor. so good. That honeycomb. Oh, there's just nothing better than a fresh hot roll with some butter and jam on it. You guys, they, they can't even fit in this. They're like <laughs> falling off. Look at that. <gasps> that is crazy. Those are some big hearty rolls. Look at that, you guys. Ah! 
<laughs> you can't tell me that is not the easiest bread recipe. So quick, they taste delicious. Like I said, look at this. I'm gonna open this one up. When you open this, do you see? Oh, you see that steam? How fluffy <laughs> and delicious this is. Oh, let me know if you end up making my recipe. Make sure you tag us over on Instagram at Jeremy Brewer. I would love to hear your thoughts. Send me your pictures. So many of you guys have already, and it's been so fun seeing you make these. You guys, we love you. We are gonna close out the vlog because we are gonna dive into these. <laughs> yes. If you have to be new to our channel, subscribe, and you guys, make sure you come back because we are doing a giant Costco haul tomorrow. That's gonna be a ton of fun. So thanks for hanging out with us today, and we will see you tomorrow. See you guys, love you, bye. bye.